Heading up north, Boxing Day, last minute packing. Uh, we're gonna get up at three in the morning and go dive with our friend Tim McDonald. You crazy mother. After a full day on the road, we arrived in Brisbane, where we would spend the next few days spearing with our mate Tim. He's infamous for his dusk till dawn diving, so the days typically all start to merge into one. It went something like this. The conditions were amazing. We were absolutely dying to get in the water. Our very first drift was spectacular, where we ran into a huge aggregation of leopard sharks. I've been listening to Michael talk about shooting a cobia for a very long time. So when it turned up following a huge bull shark, he couldn't help himself. <laughs> oh, I've been wanting a big cobia for so long. I shot it off a massive bull shark. Oh, man. Shot off a big bull shark. I was on the bottom. Just looking around, I looked to my left and my right, and this big bull shark was there. And I was like, oh, the bull shark spooked, and I saw a big cobia on its tail. I was like, oh, do I, do I? I'm like, yeah, I'm doing it. Were there more? No, just the one on the, on the bull. And the, um. What bull shark do? We kind of got a little bit agitated and then just swam off, so. It's a good scenario. The marine life in this part of Australia is amazing, with a new creature to be found around every corner. So Tim pointed out the elusive pearl perch and put us onto some nice mangrove jacks.
spots really well, taking only a few from each reef. We love eating mangrove jacks, so we went to another reef to grab some more. After landing some nice reef fish, we decided to check some dirtier water to find some mulloway. Remember what we said about Tim managing his spots? Well, in true Tim McDonald form, he found a mulloway on his first dive. But it was on his way to the surface that something truly incredible happened. Yep, that's a marlin. Marlin! 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 A huge marlin had come in to check out his dewfish that was now acting like a giant flasher. I put the turbo on and tried to chase it down. Oh, don't go too close, there's a marlin there. Big marlin swimming up to me as I was coming up. But with the fish making easy ground on me in the current, I couldn't get a clear shot. You was on Noob Spira going, I just chased it. I thought, I've heard that before. I was like, oh, I'm stuck. It was just cruising up current too. I was like, Whoa. just stop for two seconds. How often do you see a Dewey and a Marlin together? Far out. It was an epic ending to a few days spearing in Queensland with Tim. Both Michael and I had successfully landed some new species and we had enough fish to share with our friends who we were on our way to meet for New Year's. Tim's a pastor at a local church. After cleaning all the fish, he had some guys pick up the frames to share around. Nothing goes to waste. mum. <laughs> So I shot that one just for her. What do you do with all the fish frames? Eat it? Yeah. They, like uh, Jimmy and Faro, like they will take around to each of different families. Oh, you know, because you're here, just put it in the oven. Yeah. yeah. So this is what the um, the kings eat. Oh. Uh. Oh yeah. Yeah, you should eat with us. So you can teach us to eat it. <laughs> I'll teach you how to eat it, cut all the meat off, take the skin off, and then just eat the meat. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, thank you guys, you guys are. Right, do you want some ice on there? Put some on here. Thank you guys, thank you for that. No worries. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Make sure you give that on your mum, I'm asking her mine. <laughs> Ask her. <laughs> <laughs> We packed up to head further north. After a few days diving with Tim, we were shattered and decided to pull in for a halfway stop. We'd found this awesome little spot on wiki camps and decided to turn off to cook up some of our fresh fish. 
This is crazy. How can this be free? Look at the mango tree as well, and a hammock. Hello! <laughs> We were greeted by some furry friends. With no one home, we set up camp in the beautiful surroundings of mango and papaya trees. The location was absolutely stunning. Come on, Michael. Just uh, relaxing in this epic camping spot uh, that we found on Wiki Camps. It's free and it's fucking awesome. What are we having for dinner, Jess? We are having my first pearl perch that I've shot. So um, we've got a leather jacket. I, what type? Do you know? Unicorn. Unicorn leather jacket that Michael shot. And my I didn't first... shoot it, I prodded it. He prodded it. He's really proud of that. <laughs> and I shot my first pearl perch. So um, we're just going to fry those up. Super basic camp meal. Dust it in a bit of corn flour, some garlic, salt and pepper. And then I'm just going to pan fry it in some butter. I think we're just going to eat that because we've got a, one fish each. So yeah, nice and simple. I actually don't think I've ever had pearl perch, which is amazing. Mm. With full tummies and cold beers, we kicked back and enjoyed the sunset over this gorgeous little slice of land with our new fairy friends. <laughs>